Hello guys, how's it going? Screezilla here. I hope you're all well. So, we're back in naval closed beta testing. Let's see how it's going. Just had a game with the British boats and boy was that fun. It's like pulling my teeth. Um, so, yeah. Look. Ships are still a problem. Um, there's still issue. It's the combat's very iffy. It doesn't feel right. Um, as you see, the stabilizers. Well, they make it a bit easier, but not much. It's still very wobbly and wonky. Which is a bit of a problem when you're trying to do anything that's precise. Um, We've got a hull breach. And as you see, it's very well. It's still the same issue of uh, point to click and see who can do what with what. Um, You know, the combat's not very dynamic. I think that's the main problem. It's, you're basically just driving around and firing your guns and holding down the fire button until something happens. Uh, and that's pretty much naval combat at the moment. And it's sad because it could be so much more. Um, the big issue that I've noticed, well, I'd say the big issue, I mean there's many big issues. Uh, one of the big issues is what Gaijin Entertainment will want for this class of combat, and this form of combat, is close quarters battle. And when I say quite low quarters, I mean battle within about a kilometre of each other. You know, where you're fighting knife fights with each other, as they would say. Stuff like tanks. You know, tank combat. Generally, you'll have long range, but you'll also have a lot of short range combat. And... Well, that's not what naval combat's about. Um, I don't know where they got their doctrine on naval combat from, but it's not close combat, it's not knife fighting with each other and seeing who can get close and just hold down the fire button longest. There's a lot of tactics involved. There's getting your, you know, guns in position and learning how to fire them and, you know, firing off long range salvos at people and things like that. And, and that's what these boats were sort of designed for. You know, they're not more, well, I mean, this is technically a small class destroyer, a corvette sort of style thing. I can't exactly remember what the designation of the MZ-1 was, but it, it, it's sort of, it's more of a destroyer slash corvette than a, you know, motor torpedo boat. It, it's too big for that. It's too well it's got too many guns, you know, this is a destroyer really, a, t a tiny destroyer. But, destroyers were not these things that you see in World of Warships where they go, you know, sneaking around up close. Yes, that was part of their job, but their main role was laying mines, escorting people, hunting submarines, all of that sort of malarkey. It wasn't getting up close to an enemy and Firing, you know, firing up close and trying to hit people at, you know, point blank range. Because if that was happening, then generally they'd be dead because it didn't happen in naval warfare. You know, let's try and get some shots off from this guy over here. Our main gun, as you can see, our main gun is pointed up to the sky at the moment. Because, well, the, the 
part of the gun is designed to fire at long range. So as you can see, the main gun is at this really jaunty angle where it's sort of firing above all the targets. And that's the biggest problem is these guns weren't designed to fire close. They were just, well, apart from, you know, things like the riverboat and stuff. But they were designed to fire at long range. And that was their job. Firing across big distances at enemy ships. Um, and things like this battle barge. You know, his job was not to get close to an enemy. It was to sort of sit out in the middle of the ocean and fire at the enemy at long distances. And that's the point of naval combat, is it's not... It's not sort of um, close range knife fighting, which they seem to have in the game, sadly. It just completely misses the point of naval warfare. You know, I'm not saying that naval warfare didn't happen in close quarters, because it did. There was ramming, there was close quarter action, things like that. But it wasn't that common. And as you can see, this thing is about as manoeuvrable as a barge made of concrete. And that's because this thing was not designed for charging headlong into combat. It was designed for sitting in an estuary or sitting with a convoy or sitting somewhere at a port or something like that moving to position when need be but generally just sitting there as a gun platform as an AA platform and things like that because that's what it is it's a gun platform it's not a boat this isn't a ship this isn't a attack ship this is a gun platform and as I said, I should seem to have missed the point of naval warfare. It, it's not close quarters combat. You can't have the same as you do with tanks, for instance, where you're fighting at close ranges. You're fighting at these big, vast distances across an ocean, say. Like this sort of distance here, you know, is generally where would have um, engagement drop, you know, past two to three kilometers. You wouldn't be looking at combat sort of closer than that because it's just Because it's just, well, it's not what these ships were designed for. You know, in this situation here, this ship would be absolutely screwed because, well, it, it's not designed for this range of combat, um, although it can be used. This is its effective range, and as you see, the guns, they don't have that depression that they need to actually be effective at this distance. Simply because they they weren't designed the to be burning. effective at this distance. That's another thing about naval combat is, well, planes really did negate it. So, all in all, it's still a bit of a disappointment. Um, yeah. 
about all I can say on it, really. It's fun at points, but it, it's just... Well, all in all, it's just a very disappointing mode, and it just doesn't work. I think they really need to rethink how they do it, because at the moment, it's not... Well, it's not working. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, please comment below. Let me know what you think of the combat at the moment, and what you feel, feel of naval combat especially. Um, because... Well, I'd love to hear your your thoughts on it, because... You know, it, it is... Where the hell did that one go? Jesus Christ. Um, you know, it, it is... It feels broken to me, and it doesn't feel like naval combat. It feels like, um... Uh, good bombs aren't reloading. Okay. So we're in arcade battle without bomb reload. Okay, that's an interesting prospect. Um, so yeah, it doesn't feel like, you know, proper naval action would feel. It feels more like a... Uh, it doesn't even feel like World of Warships, you know, because at least in World of Warships you have some a semblance of doing things. Um, so yeah, so please like, comment, and let me know what your feelings are of this current system in in game. Because this is the end of this match anyway. May as well. Oh well, well, actually no, I'm still alive. Um, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are because, like I said, it just doesn't feel like it's working. And it's very problematic in that respect because it's missing its it's missing its target, you know, it's missing its it's missing what it wants to be. Okay guys, that's all for today. And I will catch you next time. This is Squeezer out. Keep safe and uh, speak to you soon. Bye bye all.